Example number two, a manufacturer has a contract to produce 5,000 units of a certain device. The device can be made by highly trained workmen working individually, or the device can also be made by less skilled workmen working together if they are given specialized equipment and proper supervision. The highly trained workmen are paid 20 pesos per hour and each can produce one unit every two hours on average. The specialized equipment can be placed in operation at an original cost of 60,000 and it will be worthless at the time all the 5,000 units are manufactured. With this equipment, four men paid 15 pesos each per hour and the foreman paid 25 pesos per hour. All the five men working together can finish one unit in 15 minutes. Determine the gain or loss if the specialized equipment is used. So for this problem, we're going to compare highly trained workmen and less skilled workmen but with specialized equipment. So isolve muna natin is si highly trained workmen. So ayan, lagay natin dito si highly trained workmen. So anong ating gagastusin dito? Wala naman siyang um, equipment na gagamitin. So ibig sabihin, Labor lamang ating babayaran. So, for labor, this is equal to magkano ang binabayad natin sa kanila? We are paying 20 pesos per hour. Ayan, 20 pesos. So, lagay natin dito yung 20. Tapos, ilang units ba ang kailangan nilang i-produce? 5,000 units. So, ito, 5,000 units. E di times 5,000. Yung 5,000 na ito, kailan kaya nila matatapos? Ilang oras Bago nila matapos si 5,000. So, sabi, they can produce 1 unit every 2 hours. So, yung 5,000, i-times natin sa 2. Kasi kada 2 hours nila bago matapos. So, this is equal to 200,000 pesos. So, ito yung gagastusin natin sa highly trained workmen. Pa Paano naman kapag yung less skilled pero merong gamit na special equipment? So, tanggalin lang muna natin ito. Palta natin ng less skilled plus equipment. So, dito, ano bang sinabi sa kanya? Um, si less skill daw ay nakakapaggawa ng isang unit in 15 minutes. So, ilang oras kaya niya bago matapos yung buong 5,000? So, computing natin. Time to manufacture, ilagay natin. So, this is equal to yung 5,000 times 15 divided by 60. So, bakit natin dinivide? Kasi yung 15 is in minutes. Gagawin natin siyang hours. Okay? So, this is equal to 1,200 
50 hours. So, ito yung kailangan niyang oras para matapos si 5,000 units. So, kung yan ang oras niya para matapos, magkano kayang ibabayad natin sa kanya sa labor? So, ang labor niya ay magiging yung total na oras, 1,250 times, pinabayaran natin siya ng magkano per hour. So, nagbabayad ka daw ng 4 na 15 pesos para dun sa 4 na, na labor, tapos isang 25 para kay foreman. So, ito, salagyan nung natin dito, 4 times 15 plus 25. So, ito yung nagagastos niya sa loob ng isang oras. So, ito yun. Eh, kailangan mo ay 1,250. Kaya, times natin. So, this is equal to 106,200 50. Tapos, syempre meron siyang gamit na equipment. E eh, magkano ba yung equipment na gagamitin niya? Sinabi dito na original cost of 60,000. So, ilagay natin dito ay equipment cost or let's say equipment. So, this is equal to 60,000 daw. So, lagay natin dito si 60,000. So, yun lang naman ang ating gagastusin. I-total na natin ito. We have 166,250 pesos. So, ito yung in peso. So, hindi lang kasya dito yung dalawang zero. Hindi na natin isusulat. So, ngayon, ang tanong kasi is, idadetermine mo daw kung kikita ko or malulugi kapag si specialized equipment ang ginamit. So, ilan ba yung yung total kanina? So, ibalik natin itong si highly trained. Ayan, ayusin lang po natin. So, pag ko-compare natin yung Gastos nito, 200,000, tapos itong isang less skilled ay 166,250 lamang. So, ibig sabihin, mas malit ang presyo nito. E di dapat um, kikita tayo, hindi tayo malulugi. So, salbi natin ang difference o yung gain na makukuha niya. So, tanggalin na natin ito. Then, let's move it here. Wait lang, ayusin natin. So, ay. so, computing natin ang difference. So, highly trained, yung total ni highly trained, minus yung less skilled with equipment. So, equipment itong nasa dulo, medyo nagkulang lang sa space. So, ito ay, 200,000 minus 166,250. So, this is equal to, again, peso, 33,750 pesos. So, Ito, lagay lang natin. Ito ay gain. So, kung lumabas ay negative ang sagot, so, ibig sabihin, lugi ka. So, loss yung ilalagay mo. Pero, since positive naman siya, so, gain ang lumabas or gain. Or, ibig sabihin, kikita tayo sa less skilled plus equipment. Therefore, ano ating final answer? 
using specialized equipment will result in a gain of 33,750. Also, it will reduce time from 10,000 hours to 1,250 hours. Kasi di ba kung mapapansin nyo, um, dito kasi kay highly trained, yung 5,000 every 2 hours niya nagagawa. So, ibig sabihin, 10,000 yung yung kanyang guguguling oras bago niya matapos. Unlike dito, 1,250 lamang. So, mas maganda pa rin talaga ay si less skilled worker plus may gamit silang special equipment.